It's the one thing that we all overlook is our trailers. We use them every day, you know, hauling stuff to and fro. And uh, they take a lot of beating, a lot of abuse, turning those 90 degree turns on the pavement and all that stuff like that. But I bring it in here about twice a year and check everything on it and rolled up under, checked all my my hangers and all that stuff like that up under there. Everything looked good. Uh, gonna check the oil and all the hose there and make sure they're full. I just clean them off. But I checked the air. I know and. I knew this tire was a little bit low. I didn't realize it was quite that low. So it's on 29. Uh, we're going to see. I'm going to set my stopwatch here and see how long it takes to get this thing to 80 PSI. That's the M18 inflator right there. I've got two of the M12s. They're awesome. This one right here is even faster. A lot faster. And it's got four memory settings on it, so you can set four preset uh, air pressure on this one here, so you don't have to scroll it up, you know, to get to it every time like you do on the M12. But on this one, you're only supposed to, the, the this one's only supposed to run about 20 minutes continuously, and then you gotta let it cool down. The M12 is a 10 minute run cycle on it. I just got that one about a week and a half ago. But that one will go up to 150 PSI also. The M12 will not go up that high. I think it's only 100 and I think it only goes up to 110 or maybe 120. I can't remember exactly on it, but they're pretty snazzy little dudes. I just want to see how long it would take on this. So I'm going to grab a screwdriver. I'll set the, it's been uh, one minute now exactly. We're crossing uh, two minutes. This is 46 pounds. So I'm gonna check them all eight of them while I got it in here. Make sure they're all good. All right, we're uh, a little over five minutes in. We're 65 psi. That's not bad going all the way to 80 pounds like that. See. Right, almost nine minutes. Can you see, eighty pounds. It's pretty good. So it's not bad. I mean, if you were out on the road or something, it'd be perfect for that. And of course, eighty pounds of pressure. That's going a lot right there too. So uh, I'm gonna go around and check all the rest of them. I'll do the rest of them with the uh, with the air chug and the, my big compressor. Yeah, uh, because it'll be a lot faster. So I'm watching Augus Hunnicky over here over my shoulder, and he said, we've never had an unhappy customer that is sane. And this lady's sane is what he said. I love it, man. I love August. Everybody can learn a lot from August in the tree world. That's for sure. So these are 14 ply tires of what these are. They'll hold 110 PSI on the front. Again, I couldn't get the same ones, all eight of them all the same. So 
split the difference. Got four of these and four of those. When I go back to swap them, get some more, I'll try to time it to where I get all eight of these here and put on it. So, uh, yeah, and probably, well, I, I want to next year, I want to update the gooseneck. And uh, I had this one, this is a better built, built up at Double Springs, Alabama. And I've had this one since 02, so it's 20 years old now, man. It's been a beast for uh, 20 years. Got two 10,000 pound Dexters up, up under it. But uh, I'll go to, once I get me another one, I'll go to something mucho different, boy. So we'll, uh, but uh, yeah, hope, like I said, hopefully I can do something like that this next year. Maybe metal will drop down some too, but let's get the rest of this uh, air pressure checked. I got them all done, all eight of them. They were all a little bit low on air, but not as low as that one over there. I'm gonna have to look at it and make sure it don't have anything in it. Check the oil. I just put not even a half an ounce of oil in both of these, probably not even a quarter. Those two over there, they were they were plenty of oil in them, but I'm gonna look this tire over, make sure it don't have anything in it, and uh, check it out real good and she'll be ready so let's see what this thing looks like this is the 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 400 still watching the august honicky stuff Look at the intake. Looks pretty good right there. All right, here we go. Not bad, but I wish still could figure out, man, how to uh, get the uh, pre-filter that stuff as well as the uh, Hus owner does man because that's only after probably three tanks of gas I would imagine not many tanks of gas I know I really like the 400 man 400 uh, I've said it before in other videos it's uh, probably my favorite saw it's light and it's got a crazy amount of power so yeah i'm tying this in after uh doing that because i got to get saws ready for uh for tomorrow i'm gonna put a little air on this thing too and work on it but anyhow uh this saw here has a uh, square ground on it and i have done a good bit of work on this chain you can see the back of the cutters where i ground them all and all the tie straps i've ground all in too worked on the rakers a good bit on it i like running this saw running in the tree a good bit too again because it's got a lot of power and it's very light full of gas and oil 25 inch bar weighs 18 pounds six ounces the dislike about the saw dang gas and oil caps on it constantly leak on pretty much all my steels I've got and then I just I said this a lot too I wish they'd put a primer bulb on the on the steel stuff man they put it on the blowers and what have you but it, it man it makes them makes cranking them cold like starting off in the mornings right off the bat when they haven't cranked at all puts the gas up there the biggest thing though is if you run out of gas man it just you can purge that thing up and snatch it usually one time and it and it cranks man you know but these these right here you're gonna pull them a little bit till you pull it up in there i left the decomp valve in this one the reason being is is because i run it in the tree so much and i i want it to be i want to pull it as easy as i can when i go to crank it so i'm gonna use a little air we're just doing maintenance stuff today uh, ended up getting a little rain early this morning, so it's been nice. Give me time to do this kind of stuff on a Sunday. 
So uh, yeah. We'll test her and see what she'll do. Saws have become very pricey here lately. I don't know if y'all pricey new ones. Thank goodness I bought all I bought before those prices uh, jumped up like they have on, on the saws. And one thing I'm sure, you cannot have too many chainsaws. That's a fact. It's been a long day today. We're working on stuff. Just kind of peddling. Just doing preventative stuff, you know, like on the trailer, all the tires and checking the, the running gear on the trailer out, the springs, the equalizer, everything like that. And making sure it's right. I did put a plug, one thing took me a little while, is I put a seven way plug on the back of that trailer back there so that when I'm pulling doubles now, I'm, I'm connected up because I had been pulling it. Usually Chris is right behind me, you know, for my eyes and for the brakes and everything, you know, brake lights and stuff. But now, if I pull the chipper or I pull the lift behind that gooseneck, I'll have lights and everything on the back of that. So it'll be a lot safer, especially if I'm by myself or something. So we're going to go uh, fill this chipper up, get it full, because I've got a, uh, I got one tree that's a, Probably the biggest pine I've ever cut down. I'm gonna cut it down tomorrow. So I gotta get the chipper ready. Filled this piggy up with gas is uh, a little over 15 gallons, 20 gallon tank. So I had a little less than five gallons to go before we run out. <laughs> Let's go to the house. Hot cotton over there. 